I'm uh, Michael Lotz from the University of Pittsburgh. I'm a, a assistant vice chancellor in our six schools of the health sciences, and I've been there for 26 years. I've just gone off to a company called Lion Biotechnologies, which is trying to commercialize tumor infiltrating lymphocytes to make it available for patients outside the NIH, where it's largely been practiced for the last 30 years. I'm a, fundamentally a tumor immunologist. I believe that we're not going to cure cancer without T cells. And so much of my career has been spent studying how to make T cells do what I wanted them to do, which is to get rid of the tumor or control the tumor. And so I started off my career with a terrible thing happening, which was the drug interleukin-2, for which we could cure about 10% of patients with melanoma and kidney cancer, but 90% of the patients we treated and had either partial response or no response. So we tried an awful lot of things for what I call the dark ages of immunology. We kept the field alive and tried IL-4, IL-7, IL-10, IL-12, IL-18, we're up to IL-38 now. Tried dendritic cells, tried targeting something called autophagy, tried to understand how tumor cells died or survived uh, in the tumor microenvironment. And the biggest, most exciting thing in our field is twofold. One is that there are people who are being uh, treated today with CAR T cells and with tumor infiltrating lymphocytes and having all their tumor go away. That's really incredible. There used to be cancer was a death sentence and the idea that somebody with metastatic cancer could actually have a response that persisted, not for a week, not for a month, not for a year, but for years and years and years. This is, I don't know if this is a cure, but it's as good a thing as I've ever seen. The other thing, of course, is the notion we had all been working hard to stimulate an immune response to cancer. And one of the things that we've come to realize is that there's already an immune response to cancer. All we have to do is wake it up. And this is the notion of checkpoint inhibitors, which is the CTLA-4 antibodies, PD-1 antibody, PDL-1 antibody. And one of the most exciting things to me is, is that we went from a field that was satisfied with one month, two months, three months increases in survival, and that's so yesterday. We're now in a period where people not only realize that much better outcomes can be uh, affected with the new therapies, so that they can realistically be talking about years of increased life, is really a sea change, which I'm so glad I am alive <laughs> to be able to see. You know, it's really remarkable.